The people in Rampal Yadav's village had problems moving from one place to another as influential forces blocked a road. Pramod Kumar's seniority in service was dubiously handled by his school administration. Sanjay Prakash Singh, a life insurance corporation agent, paid the premium on behalf of his client to the corporation in good faith. The client refused to pay back. A transformer blew off in the village of Anjani Kumar Srivastava, causing a major electricity crisis. The fair price shop owner in Narendra Singh Chauhan's village acted arbitrarily to the inconvenience of all. Muhammad Akil Khan paid bid money at an auction of a plot of land. The bid money was not returned to him despite repeated requests. The GPF passbook of Guvaram Tripathi was not maintained as per official rules. Ramvati suffered as neither the GPF savings were released of her deceased husband nor the family pension. Dinesh Shukla spent sleepless nights as a goon encroached upon his land and constructed a house there. Problems are many and diverse. The list of grievances is endless and tends to grow constantly. The task before the government has been daunting. How can the grievances of thousands of people be redressed? Under the traditional system of governance, Despite best efforts, the government was unable to provide timely relief to the affected. From the point of view of the aggrieved, there was little hope of finding succor. Poor follow-up systems on complaints made this position practically untenable. For rural people, another severe problem was that of accessibility to the government offices, which were the only sources of information for the public. These offices were almost always situated far away from the hub of the rural districts. And in the event of someone visiting these offices, the probability of getting the requisite information was extremely low. On the top of all these problems, if the administrative unit happened to be large and hugely populated, then redressing grievances of the populace appeared virtually impossible. District Sitapur in the state of Uttar Pradesh is one such large administrative unit. Situated on the Sarai and River Bank along the Lucknow Delhi National Highway No. 24, Sitapur is around 89 kilometers from Lucknow, the state capital. Given its size and population, bottlenecks were bound to creep in the administrative setup of Sitapur. Complaints piled up with no or little chance of disposal despite the best efforts of the government. It was realized that the answer to all these problems lay in e-governance. Therefore, an e-governance project was conceptualized for Sitapur district in September 2004. We did a study of two similar initiatives in uh, Madhya Pradesh, uh, in district Dhar of Gyandut and Rajas Rajasthan district Jhalabad of Janmitra. And we tried to learn from whatever uh, uh, findings were there from those two studies and then we made our own system, we developed our own software and we la launched it in December 2004 onwards. 
initially the and i think initially and even now the most popular service is grievance redressal consumer must have a right to demand uh, whatever uh, grievance he has what redressal has been done on that so that way we were empowering the citizens we were giving them their first right as in a democracy which they should have so we named it lokwani that is the voice of the people A society by the name of Lokwani was set up so that the project could be implemented autonomously with the help of technical knowledge provided by National Informatics Center or NIC 14 sites were launched on the 8th of November 2004 for pilot testing the site of Lokwani became fully operational by December 10 2004 project mein humne ye rakha hai ki जितने भी हमारे क्योस्क हैं जो पहले से ही रन कर रहे साइबर कैफेज थे उनको हम लोगों ने लाइसेंस दे दिया एंड वी चार्ज 1000 थाउजेंड टू टू थाउजेंड रुपीज़ फ्राम दैम इन रिटर्न ऑफ दैट वी प्रोवाइडेड दैम द फैसिलिटी टू प्रोवाइड द सर्विसेज अवेलेबल ऑन लोकवाणी एंड दे कैन चार्ज फॉर इट फ्राम द पब्लिक एंड वी शेयर सम अमाउंट फ्राम दैम फॉर द फॉर द सर्विस दे प्रोवाइड टू द यूजर्स and we have all the uh, we have rate, rate list available the kiosk owners have profitably extended the lokwani services to the masses the lokwani centers have also opened up employment opportunities actually i have got empl employment और उसके साथ साथ मैंने पाँच छः लोगों को और एम्प्लॉयड किया है इन्फॉर्मेशन पर्टेनिंग टू वेरस गवर्नमेंटल डिपार्टमेंट्स हैज बीन मेड अवेलेबल टू द लोकवाणी सेंटर्स थ्रू अ वेबसाइट होस्टेड बाय द एनआईसी दिल्ली वेब सर्वर द सेंटर्स हैव बीन गिवन देयर रिस्पेक्टिव लॉग इन पासवर्ड्स टू कनेक्ट टू द लोकवाणी वेबसाइट लैंड रिकॉर्ड्स arms license application status general provident fund accounts of basic education teachers and a multitude of other services are available online transparency in government functioning has been accorded utmost priority details of developmental works ration allotment to fair price shop dealers money sent to gram sabhas and a number of other informative data can be seen simply by clicking the appropriate hyperlinks provided in the lokwani site the most popular service of lokwani is the online public grievance redressal system as on 1st of july 2007 out of a total of 94273 complaints received 89742 have been disposed of This is a prolific rate of disposal by any standards. The procedure that an aggrieved person has to follow in order to register his complaint in the Lokwani site is extremely simple. He can approach the nearest Lokwani center and convey his problem to the person in charge of the center either in written or verbal form. The detailed complaint is then entered in the Lokwani site. under the respective category of services the category is chosen according to the nature of the complaint the entries that are required to be made for registering a complaint are the center of registration complainant's name address subject of the complaint followed by the complaint these entries must be made in the respective places in the online registration forms at the end of the registration process the complainant gets a complaint id number generated by default as part of the process this number helps both the administration and the complainant for subsequent reference then the complainant is given a hard copy of the complaint with the nominal charges levied print out of each form is taken out within 24 hours and then forwarded to the office of the district magistrate for scrutiny 
The Lokwani database keeps track of all the complaints filed by a particular Lokwani center. All complaints lodged through this site are monitored and sorted at the office of the district magistrate. Thereafter, the complaints are marked to the concerned officers. This is followed by determination of a period of redressal, which depends upon the nature of the complaint. It usually varies from 15 to 40 days for complete resolution. From the Lokwani head office, the registered complaint is forwarded to the respective authorities depending upon the nature of the complaint. Particulars of the officer to whom the complaint has been marked along with the deadline are uploaded on the server the next day. The users can access these pieces of information within two to three days of lodging the complaint. For accessing the complaint status, the complainant uses the ID number that was provided to him at the time of registration. A complainant may use one of the three ways to learn the status of action on his complaint. The interactive voice responsive system, simple SMS messages or internet. The government officials download complaints on a daily basis and enter disposal reports online. Color schemes are used to depict the various stages of the action taken on a complaint. This makes the information easily understandable. Entries in red mean resolution is pending. Entries in green mean issue is resolved. And the entries in yellow mean complaint is in queue. The officer in charge of a unit is responsible for online monitoring of the status of complaints filed, pending and resolved. With a view to examine the cases of default, the district magistrate or his nominee holds a meeting every Wednesday, demanding reasons for delay in redressal process from the defaulting officers. This system of weekly defaulters meetings has made the officers extremely responsive to the needs of the people. The district magistrate is also responsible for judging the quality of redressals provided. We to randomly select two complaints and call the complainants also at the meeting. And we used to have a face-off between the department and the complainant to bring out the truth. That has reduced the number of such complaints that the complaints are not being disposed of actually on the field. But still, we have a mechanism we, where we keep track of that the, there is qualitative aspect to the disposal of claims also. A large number of people have successfully got their grievances redressed through Lokwani. Lokwani में दरख्वास्त दिया डीएम साहब इंक्वारी के लिए वहाँ पुलिस के पास भेजें जो है पुलिस ने लिख दिया कि ये रास्ता ये भूमि के ऊपर जो है तो केस चल रहा है तो हमने दोबारा डीएम साहब को फिर दरख्वास्त दिया कि साहब पुलिस ने ये गलत किया है इसमें कोई केस नहीं चल रहा है तब जो है डीएम साहब फिर दोबारा इंक्वारी की लोकवाणी इन विजन्स ऑलमोस्ट एवरी काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम नवंबर 79 में मैं लोली हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल में ट्रांसफर होकर के आया था 2003 में जूनियर कर दिया गया तो मैंने उसकी एक लोग वाली की थी तो हम आज पता करने फिर आए थे कि क्या हुआ हमारे उसका निस्तारण तो भैया ने बताया कि हो गया है तो उसी कॉपी आपके सामने हमने निकलवाई अनकॉमन ग्रीवेंसेस कैन आल्सो बी रिड्रेस थ्रू लोकवाणी मैंने पिछली बार एक यहां विक्रम सिंह कमलापुर में तैनात थे कांस्टेबल थे तो उन्होंने ने बीमा एक कराया था हमने उसको उसकी पॉलिसी कर दी लेकिन उन्होंने पैसा मुझे नहीं दिया कम से कम एक दो महीने हो गए उन्होंने पैसा नहीं दिया मैं कई बार तक आधा किया लेकिन पैसा मुझे नहीं मिला उसके बाद मैंने लोकवाणी की तब उसका हल निकला फिर सीईओ जो है उसको बुला करके कहा गया तो पैसा दीजिए या तो तुम्हारे खिलाफ जो है मुकदमा लिखवा देंगे तो उसके बाद उसने पैसा दिया अ विलेज इकोनॉमी could come to a standstill for the want of electricity. The problem, however, is not beyond the ambit of Lokwani. What we have learned is that we have learned 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 that we have lear
इसके बाद हम लोग जब चाहें यहीं बैठक कर जानकारी भी कर सकते हैं कि हमारी शिकायत के फसरूप उसमें क्या निर्णय लिया गया सप्लाई ऑफ असेंशियल्स कैन नेवर बी कॉम्प्रोमाइज विद लोकवाणी इंश्योर्स फ्री एंड फेयर डीलिंग्स इन फेयर प्राइस शॉप्स मिट्टी का तेल खाद्यान्न चावल वगैरह और और जो चीनी वगैरह वहाँ पर जो है सरकारी रेट पर जो है मिलता था उसके बाद जो है इसने जो है हमने कई बार इससे कहा दुकानदार से दुकानदार ने जो है सुना नहीं तो हमने जो है 2005 में जो है सिधौली में प्रथम लोकवाणी की बल कारण बताओ नोटिस जारी हुआ कोटेदार के खिलाफ Revenue matters can often unsettle individuals. Thankfully, Lokwani takes care of these problems. अपने खेत से मिली हुई जमीन नीलामी में हमने छियानबे हजार रुपए की तहसील से लिया था इसके बाद बोली एस डी एम साहब ने निरस्त कर दिया और निरस्त करने के बाद भी हमारा पैसा हमको नहीं वापस करा इसके बाद फिर हमने तहसील दिवस में भी दरख्वास्त दिया अपना पैसा वापस करने के लिए हमने कोर्ट से भी नोटिस दिया और मगर हमारा पैसा वापस हमको नहीं मिला लोग बाड़ी में शिकायत करा और शिकायत में दो तीन शिकायतों के बाद करने के बाद हमारा पैसा हमको पूरा मूल पैसा हमारा हमको वापस मिला लोकवाणी रियलाइज दैट सर्विस मैटर्स कैन ऑफन बी द सोर्स ऑफ टेंशन मैंने एक लोकवाणी में प्रार्थना पत्र जीपीएफ पासबुक न बनने के संबंध में दिया था जिसकी शिकायत संख्या उनतालीस हजार सात सौ इकसठ है उस शिकायत को करीब दो माह हो गए थे पहली बार तो उन्होंने पहले समय मांगा बनाने के लिए उसके बाद में उन्होंने समय ले करके दो माह में हमारे प्रार्थना पत्र का निस्तारण सब कुशल जी पी पासबुक बना करके कर दिया It is the duty of any government to honor its deceased employees and their family members. Lokwani assures relief to the kith and kin of the deceased. Pita ji ki death 29 May sun 4 ko hui thi. Aur tab se main lagatar Sitapur dhorta raha. Apne paise ke bare mein. Lekin wahan se koi hal nahi nikla. पैसा करीबन सात आठ महीने में दौड़ा उसके बाद यहाँ मिश्रिक में लोकवाणी केंद्र जो खुला था उस पर हमने शिकायत दर्ज की माता जी के द्वारा दर्ज कराई और करीबन एक महीने बाद मार्च में हमारा पेमेंट आ गया Often the rich and powerful intrude into the rights of others. Fortunately, Lokwani stands firm as a remedial channel for the affected. तालाब को पाटते हुए रामलोटन कहार आदि ने हमारे खेत पर अवैध कब्जा कर रखा था। तब मैंने जो है लोकवाणी द्वारा शिकायत की और उन लोगों से कब्जा छुड़वाया। The Lokwani project has thus ushered in a new era of public private partnership whereas on one hand the Lokwani centers serve as effective links to governmental services for the citizens on the other they act as channels of profitability for the kiosk owners revenue generated by the centers is substantial and is likely to rise appreciably in the days to come Lokwani sites have encouraged a number of entrepreneurs in opening up cyber cafes and single window facilities. Single window का एक ऐसा set है कि उसमें क्या आपको आए जाते हैं वास्तव में जो public पहले से लेक पाल के पास अपना अपना खुद जा जा के बनवाते थे अभी इस system के through हम ये उन्हें देखो इसे नहीं कोशिश करते हैं कि उन्हें दौड़ना ना पड़े बहुत ज़्यादा और यहाँ पे वो जमा करें form एक हफ्ते का time रहता है उनको एक हफ्ते के अंदर हम � 
Lokwani has widened the scope of e-governance and soon there may be many more similar systems in place all over the country that could work both as individual systems and as a composite network. And the future prospects I think will be when we merge this project with the Government of India NEGP scheme is of establishing 1 lakh uh, common service centres throughout the country out of which about uh, 17,909 will be in UP. <laughs> With the bridging of the digital divide, the whole of the country could transform into a composite digital organism that solves its problems the e-way, slowly but steadily. The Lokwani project has triggered a digital revolution. A revolution that shall open the doors of prosperity for all and sundry. Thank you.